Today we're reviewing the Dell XPS 15 9570. Yes, hello, welcome! So I've been using the Dell XPS 15 9570 for the last week and now I will give you my final review of this computer. So on to the specs of this specific configuration. It works on Intel Core i7 8750H which runs with a 45 watts TDP unlike the Ultrabook editions of the i7 and it also rocks 16 GB of DDR4 RAM which runs at a whopping 2666 MHz and it also has that 512 GB of PCI Express SSD and it also has that NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti with a 4 GB of GDDR5 memory and it also has a big battery with 97 watts hours with the 97 watts hours battery combined with the 4k screen you will get around 5 to 6 hours of battery time and if you opt for the 1080p display you will get around 7 to 8 hours of battery time and with the smaller battery the 56 7 watts hours that will give you a pretty weak battery time so please don't go with that one the Dell Express 15 has a nice aluminium finish on the chassis which gives it a premium feeling and it also rocks a carbon fiber under the hood which gives it a more unique and distinctive feeling from other computers it also has what Dell calls it infinity display which means it has incredible thin bezels this allows the Dell Express 15 to have a 15.6 inch screen in a 14 inch laptop form factor on to the ports of the Dell Express 15. It has a full size SD card slot, a USB 3.0 Type A port, a battery indicator, a Kensington lock. On the other side, it has a headphone jack, a USB Type C with Thunderbolt 3 connectivity with four lanes. And it also has an HDMI 2.0 port and an additional USB 3.0 Type A port and of course the charger port it has a very thin design and it's only two kilograms it's very lightweight for the specs it has it also has a fingerprint reader directly on the power button it has a nice big touchpad with a glass surface and it also rocks a windows precision driver which means it has full support for all gestures in windows 10 it has a very nice and spacious keyboard with very tactile and clicky buttons and it's also backlit so I opted for the 4k display and man it's looking amazing it's super sharp crispy very detailed and the colors are so vibrant thanks to the 100% Adobe RGB color space this color space has more colors than the regular sRGB which is amazing for video editing and image editing it has two down firing speakers it will take you to another world but surprisingly even though they are down firing they are very good and they sound loud and they will do just fine for some light gaming or watching Netflix or YouTube. So on to some benchmarks and performance. This Intel Core i7 is a 6 core CPU and it scores 1067 CB and the GeForce 1050 Ti scores 120.72 FPS in Cinebench. As you can see the Dell Express 15 handles 4K editing very easily. I can scroll through the timeline even with color grading and with multiple layers it's a beast it can handle it this laptop handles gaming very easily it can play almost all the latest games at 1080p with high settings at 60 frames per second as you can see here I'm playing Fortnite it's looking amazing and it's very smooth so this is the webcam as you can see the angle is not that great you know it has to be placed on the bottom of the screen because of the infinity display as you can see if you were to type using the webcam the other person would see your fingers so 
Not a good position. Sadly, the Dell Express 1595 SMC does come with its issues. Some users are reporting fan issues and some users are reporting coil wine. Personally, I experience issues with the fans. During idle or light usage, my fans go on and off, on for like 2 seconds, then off for like 5 seconds, and it keeps repeating in the same pattern. So Dell issued a motherboard replacement because they thought that the fan controller on the motherboard was faulty. Sadly, this was not the case, so the problem persists. And I researched on Reddit and many users are reporting the same problem. And uh, there seems to be coming an update for the buyers which will solve this problem, hopefully. I underworlded the CPU in hope that the problem would be solved. So repacing is the next step in solving this problem. I will do a separate video on this and hopefully the problem will be solved. All in all, I can really recommend this laptop. It has amazing build quality, an amazing 4K screen and the specs can easily handle 4K editing and you can also do some nice gaming on this laptop. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you liked it. And comment down below if you have any questions about the Dell Express 159570. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, this is... Human! And <laughs>